I think I don't, I don't need to make a very hard point selling this book after hearing from the poet herself. You can see that working with people such as Mariana Kirokinovska or Volodymyr Afeyenko or Stanislav Asyev, for me, but also I think for anyone, is just incredibly inspiring, even though it can be really hard at times. Uh, we are a very tiny team, even though we're sweeping the awards here. Uh, it's, editorially, it's just me and one editor. And uh, the series uh, of which these titles are a part uh, is going to have 14 volumes by the spring of next year. So you can just imagine how much work goes into producing these books, but also at a certain level of quality and production that they garner the kind of attention that we believe they need to garner in order to tell the story of Ukraine and of Ukrainian people. Once again, the books speak for themselves and poetry is all in language. We need to experience it, to hear it, to live it, to speak it in order to understand what it achieves. And so I would like to read just one poem from this collection, and I, again, invite you to explore it for yourself as well. <clears throat> These last parting moments, they should, should be forgotten. Must I let go of my memory or fight to preserve it, suspended in time for a while in my terminal passage? becoming a substance that cannot substantially perish. I tried to make out why the cruelty, why the horror, why pointless backstabbing, why victims in ditches, trenches, for evil is doomed to an infinite shame-ridden solitude. Our tormentors' features do not look especially vicious, a bit swollen up like the drunkards, to erase their labors. They pour amnesiacs in. They don't want to remember a victim. I think a victim has an easier time of it, better at getting rid of the venom and at forgetting. I suffer. We all in this crowd are united in our trouble. Impassioned is our passage and quietly flows our sorrow. Baby libel. His mother got shot. He raises his arms. I, too, shall be shot. I embrace him now and forever. You can hear also that the translation really stands on its own as, an, as a work of art. And that's something that we pay a lot of attention when we publish these books. And so, the, of course, the, the, all the praise for that goes to the translators uh, Oksana Maximchuk and Max Rosuchinsky, uh, translators, uh, couple, who are working together on many such wonderful projects. Um, I would like to also mention, again, the, uh, the production side of the book. Um, uh, if, you, if you can look at the uh, cover art on this, on this volume, it was designed by um, an artist team, another couple from Lviv, uh, that are known as um, art studio Agravka, uh, Romana Romanation and Andriy Lesiv. And so the uh, entire book is illustrated. There are a total of eight illustrations in the book that try to bring closer the message of, of demise, but also of eternal remaining. Um, it, it is a privilege to work with such artists at, as Mariana Kianowska, as this visual artist, with those translators. I feel privileged to be here to share this community. And I feel that all, all that we do and all that you do and have done over the decades of your service uh, to Ukraine, to the Ukrainian cause and to other humanitarian causes deserves to be celebrated. So thank you so much for supporting this work and thank you so much for being here to continue doing this work. Thank you.